actually give you a two-part answer, right? The way it used to be and the way it ought to be. So prior to Intel, I ran McAfee's corporate strategy, and we built a portfolio that was full of security technologies. We had about two dozen technologies at the largest portfolio, and anytime customer came to us and said, I have a problem, well, I have a solution for you. Back to Atik's point, when you have 20,000 vulnerabilities a month, or 733 a day, your traditional approach no longer works. And if you think about it in the security industry, there are really three ways to protect against the vulnerabilities. One is signature-based attack detection, where you, you've seen something, there's a vulnerability out there, there is an exploit, bad guys have figured out how to take advantage of the vulnerability. The security vendors have figured out how they take advantage of it, they try to block it, so it's a known methodology. There is a second approach uh, of anomaly-based detection, which is, hey, I'm seeing something suspicious. Maybe you haven't seen the attack. Maybe there is an attack. You got to do something about it. Challenge is they used to work when your vulnerabilities are tens and twenties and thirties a month at twenty thousand. Both of these approaches no longer work. What the industry really needs is what's called a control flow integrity CFI, and that's what Worsec focuses on. Where if you know whether how the application is expected to behave, that's how it will behave. Just because hacker got into the application, your application, your data, whatever, it doesn't matter. The application needs to be self-protecting itself, and that's the new approach. As I said, if I look back just 10 years ago, the stack of products, and that's what you see around here, you know, a, you know, a dozen product at an ingress point, an egress point, necessary, don't really work. You need a fundamentally different approach. And that's where I think, I think one of the benefits of CFI is not only it uh, detects the vulnerabilities that have not been exploited, right? Um, but it also increases or improves dramatically the false positive. When the system generates an uh, alert, something is bad, something is happening, you can count on that being happening as opposed to getting drowning, I think, to your point in the thousands of alerts that happen.